in order for the forks to accommodate the, the width of the wheel, they're going to need to be four inches apart. So we'll make sure that the forks are four inches apart from the inside. So the fork assembly will go together something like this. I'll go ahead and drill holes in the places where the forks are to hinge. It'll be a lot easier to do it now than later once the pieces are welded together. Now that we've got most of the major components put together for the front fork and the holes drilled, we'll go ahead and weld it up. Okay, we've almost got the front forks finished. Got holes drilled for the wheels, holes drilled for the turning, all the welds pretty much done and cleaned up. Now we'll do the handlebars with this half inch black pipe. Okay, I've cut my 36 inch long black pipe in half. Now, I'll put a bend in it with the pipe bender to get it to the right curve for the handlebars. Put a mark on both pipes so that I can put the bend in the same place. Put a mark on my die so that I can line them up. Now we'll do our bend. Got both of the handlebars bent and checked to make sure that the bends are the same. Now we're ready to clean up the ends of these and weld them to the forks. take the grinder and clean up the parts. Now we're ready to tackle 
trailing arm together. Just clean up our welds a bit. Now that we have it mostly welded, 